No! Oh my god, I caught that fish three times. And he's gone again. Oh, I got him again! No freaking way! Oh, I think he's up that time. right there welcome back oh no happy down that's not a good start to the morning oh, I got a mess to clean up anyway welcome back to fish in the Arctic and we're on Great Slave Lake we're set up for big lake trout we're getting a few little burbot oh, nothing special they're coming in but they're not really hitting in canoe are possible I've caught pike here before but mostly, we're looking for a big old lake trout. Anyway, I gotta clean up my coffee. What is it? It's 6 a.m. It's like 70k winds today. I don't know about setting a tip up, I guess. It's not gonna be great for filming, but I'm gonna get situated here. Pour some more coffee, because yeah, it's 6 a.m. I think I went to bed at 2.30. I finally got set up. It was uh, a big run in the dark. Anyway, I'm gonna get set up. We'll get back to it. Well, this fish just came flying in. Oh my goodness. We caught it in canoe. Oh, sweet. No one's entered an in canoe in the derby yet. Twenty-seven inch in canoe. Whoo! There she goes. <laughs> that was panic. I don't even know if I got the shot, but I'm in uh, the Illinois Sport Fishing Fish Donkey uh, Ice Fishing Tournament, and no one has entered an in canoe. I'll be the first one to enter an in canoe. I'm kind of got the shakes. This is awesome. Submit. All right. Here, fishy, fishy. Oh, there's a fish. I think it's a burbot. Just hit when it hit the bottom. What are you? Oh, no. Oh yeah, it's a good sized burbot. Nice one. Climbing things, these are really hard to hold on to. All right, 25 inch burbot entered into the derby. All right, here's the release shot. Whoa, that was super graceful. Okay, we've caught a burbot, caught an ink canoe. Ice time, change it up. Whoa, something big just swam in. Oh, he darted after it, but then... Oh, whatever it is, we got it. Nice, super clear. Oh yeah, nice little pike. 
Oh, here she comes. Sweet. It's not huge in the world of pike, but species number three. Respectable 32 incher, but see you later, girl. Sometimes I just need a little kick. There we go. Yawn. You could see her take off under the ice. That was pretty cool. It's not even quarter after seven. I've been maybe fishing just over an hour. And we have three species on the board. Woo! This is awesome. Oh, might have to get the other here going. It's a little chilly in here. My suit back on anyway. Oh, it's just that wind. There's so much breeze pushing through the tent. It's not really warming up. It's bearable. It's just going to be here all day. Stay cozy. If I get too warm though, I'll fall asleep. I'm not running on lack of sleep. So we need to fish. I still haven't got that tip up set. But it's only 8 o'clock, so. I find the morning bites really good here, and then it slows down, then it'll pick up. Her. Lost her tasty snack. What do we got? Ooh, let's try a big old shark. Here's your life saving tip of the day. Pre-boil your hot water and bring it in a thermos. Instant coffee, literally. It's the best. No messing around, spend time fishing. I'm feeling pretty lazy, I may even have to get some breakfast. Get some energy so I can go punch that other hole. It's a lot of work drilling through five and a half feet of ice. Oh my god, I caught that fish three times and he's gone again. Oh, I keep snagging the ice. No. Oh, that was a big lake trout. Oh, trying to fight to get all the cameras on. Oh, that's gonna be quick. <laughs> Sweet. Get up here. Oh man. Oh. 
Whoo, that was one hungry lake trout. Oh man, we just completed our mission. What's that? That's like a 30 incher. Whoo, lake trout. I think it was almost 30 inches, 29 or something. Oh. Had to revive them here a little bit. 29 inch lake trout. Caught them five times. Finally on the fifth time, got them. See ya. Oh, that was awesome. Oh man, I'm shaking. Oh, I spilled my coffee oh, again. The coffee holder. Oh, please, please, please. Did I hit the record button? Yeah, I hit the record button. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that was epic. Oh, I even... <laughs> oh, <laughs> epic and pathetic. That fish, I could see him under the ice. I don't know if I got it on the camera or not. But every time he'd get to the hole, he'd hit it. And he'd come up and then the jig would slip out and it'd snag in the bottom of the hole. And he'd sit there and stare at it. it my heart just stopped. So I'd, I'd get it unsnagged, I'd drop it down and he'd grab it on the drop. He'd set hook and he'd come up and spit it and I'd keep snagging the bottom of the hole. And finally I dropped it. I could see him on the panoptics swimming. I just let it fall and he grabbed it and I just let him swim with it. And then I set hook and he was still just barely hooked <laughs> right on the side. I don't know if you'd be able to see it or not. Whew. Made it a lake trout. It's not super sensitive when your pan optics pull doesn't make it to the bottom of the ice. Uh, it's super thick. I'm not sure how thick. We can maybe measure it. I'll, uh, what do I got? I got 59 inch measuring board, 60 inch maybe, yeah. So we'll see. We'll put her down there and see what happens. Hopefully we don't lose it. But here's the setup. Panoptics live scope, just kind of running. I gotta figure out how to dim the power so I can save battery, but I did bring a boatload of batteries. Got the little buddy heater going. Chair, save your back. All the camera gear. Got the whole camera. And we got the measuring board. We're competing in the Yellowknife Sport Fishing Ice Fishing Derby on the Fish Down Key app. So it's catch and release. And then we got the bed. Try to go the other way here. Oh, that's all we got. So I brought the toboggan right inside the hut. The sled's just outside there. And you just keep all your stuff organized. And then when it's time to pack on Sunday, I can just still be fishing and pack my toboggan away and be ready to go. And all I have to do is tear the tent down and tie her down. Got something coming in here or not? This thing can be just mesmerizing. Something big just swam in, of course. I don't know if it's coincidence or not, but 
that fish reacted to that board snapping on the ice. They are a bit shallow. Put a couple mats underneath. Should fix the problem. need to get that tip up down. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna build a live well here too. Go start my sled. See if the suspension doesn't figure itself out. <laughs> you know, turn it off and turn it back on again. Worked last time. <laughs> Well, I started the sled. The compressor was running, so we'll see. The sled says it's minus eight. So it's not too bad. The wind chill is like minus 20. It's windy and it's, it's cold. I don't know that I want to set a tip up because it's like eyeball freezing temperature. So I don't want to freeze their eyeballs. I've got big fish. That was a pretty big fish that came through just a moment ago. So I'm gonna drill a little live well and I'm gonna pop another hole and we're gonna put a set line over here, put a camera on it and see what happens. Might as well just stay warm. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense both sides. I might even just put on another heater too because uh, it's chilly. Anyway. Go back to chicken. See the light. There's the auger and stuff. Generator, extra gas. It's super windy. Oh, there's a big fish on bottom. <laughs> of course there is. Oh. oh no! They come out again! Oh. <laughs> I got him that time. Oh. He's right there. <laughs> this is gonna be a quick landing. Ooh, the slugger for the win! Oh yeah! Alright, <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Start the sled. He's got a <laughs> great big fish down his throat. Alright. Come on, Doc. What are we? It's like a. There it is, right in the chair. Thirty-three inch leg trout, it's pooping all over the place. Whoo! There she goes. Well, I did have a clean hole. <laughs> yeah, thirty-three inch leg trout. <laughs> Again, I missed her and. She smoked it after, so. Oh, I'm just shaking. I need to get a live boat built. I just, I feel bad. They get flopping about. Oh, man. 
That was the quickest lake trout landing ever. <laughs> I watched the whole thing go down. I didn't have the camera running. Everything was way too fast. Submit. Boom. Another one on the board. Sweet. We're killing it. All I'm using here is a chartreuse tube jig. The Cisco belly. Make sure you rip it open. And then, uh, yeah, just position the tentacles. Make sure the hook. It's a little smaller hook than what I normally use, but I just gotta let them take it for a second. Chartreuse tube jig, no swivel. I just got this little quick attachment. It allows me to change quickly. There, I think I had that bait out before and I think it was, it's causing my missed hook sets, but they're hungry. So you see the fish down the throat? That was awesome. I, I don't know if I got it. Anyway, the slugger, I just got this rod and I, I couldn't help myself, but that was the quickest landing ever. Let's go do that again. <laughs> that was that was awesome. Oh my god. Monster truck. <laughs> 